Tjena! I saw this video on how to make passive income with just $1,000 by this guy called Graham. It was a great video, but I didn't agree with the actions he recommended. And I thought it was such a great topic. Even if you have many more zeros on your account already, I'm sure you have a lot of people asking you for this advice. So he suggested dividend stocks, index funds, real estate investment trusts, bonds and so on. And his case was that even if you just make $5 per month, it is addictive, so you will do it more. I don't agree. On the contrary, your energy and time and excitement is finite. If you spend all the energy to research which dividend stocks or index fund to buy and set up the account and lock up your $1,000, and then you basically get one more cafe latte each month, I think you'll get very, very demotivated. Those strategies are all fantastic if you have more money to put in, because the effort you put in is the same, but the return is 10 times higher if you put in 10 times the money, or it's 100 times higher if you put in 100 times the money. Same effort, same energy. So before doing that, I think there's another step first. You need to turn that 1K into 10k first, preferably more, and then do those steps. And I hope I'm going to give you two ways to do that in this video. If you would please like this video and subscribe, it really helps to support the channel. Thank you. Okay, so number one, realize that you have one advantage over those with a million dollars, so use it. In investment, the key concept is risk-reward. People with a million dollars, they cannot risk to lose it, because the effort to make it again is enormous. But if you have 1k, you can decide to risk to lose it, because you can make it back if it happens. And if you move from cannot risk to lose it to can risk to lose it, the rewards possible are totally different. So if I wanted to go this way, this is what I would do. I'd split my 1000 bucks into maybe 5 buckets of 200 each. Because I'd probably screw up the first couple of times. Then on each bucket I'd pick a tech stock tech because they often go a crazy distance, both up and down, while traditional companies don't in the same way. And now I will tell you something important. Trends are more likely to continue than to not continue. Statistically, that is a fact. Then zoom out. You don't need my indicator to tell if this trend is up or down, right? It's up. Then zoom in. If your bet is that the overall trend will continue up, you want to buy as cheap as possible, right? So then you wait for a dip when the price goes down a lot in the microcosmos where you're zoomed in. Look, there's a lot of those, and the more down, the better. And then you don't buy the stock. Instead, you risk to lose the money and buy something called a CFD. That means contract for difference. Then you get more leverage. 3 to 5 times leverage is a good starting point. 5 times leverage means if your stock goes up 1%, your investment goes up 5%. If the stock goes down 1%, your investment goes down 5%. And if it goes down 20%, 5 times of that is 100%, then your investment is down 100% and it's game over, even if it goes back up later. So you need a little bit of luck to get on the horse when it's running the right way. And if it goes the right way, you can absolutely turn $200 into serious money given some time. This strategy that you would implement here is a variant of cutting your losses quickly and let the winners run. That is quite hard to do as a professional trader, but for you in this situation it would be easy, because your $200 would be gone. While if you have a little bit of luck and get in on the trend, you let that winner run. 
Now, if you have five tickets, don't play them all in the same direction at the same time, because many times all the companies move in the same way. Then, if you make 10k, you put those 10k into something giving you dividend. Again, I'd argue to take a little more risk than a Wells Fargo dividend stock or index fund, because again, if disaster strikes, you can make this again. Like this one gives over 10%, but they are new, so you know you take a little bit bigger risk that something goes wrong. For clarity, no endorsement, I have no insight into this specific one, you have to do your own research. Just showing that there are ways to get 10% return if widening the search and the horizon a little bit. Then, if you successfully do this once, turn your 1k into 10k, go and do it again. Don't take any of those 10k out, that's how casino gamblers go broke, they bet with the wins. Don't do that. Those 10k are holy. Instead, do the whole process again, whatever means you use to get the first 1000, do it again. Then play the CFD game again. Now you've learned a bit more, maybe you can even make another 10k even easier. Then if you have 20k, and you can get 10% return by taking a slight risk. You now have $166 per month. Now it's starting to matter. Now your energy, time and effort is paying off. Now you can each month invest those $166. Each time into something slightly different or different timing. Sometimes you can strike gold. And if not, you limit each loss to $166. This will be addictive and you can soon have a passive income that can sustain your life on the beach with your loved one or whatever your dream is. It will take time, you will probably lose the money a few times as you learn, but at least you have a chance of bringing success to the point where it matters for your life. This was the first method. Would I do this if I have $1000 to my name? No, I would not. I'm not much of a gambler. I want to win every time. I would do the second method, which is practically certain to succeed. And it is the method I actually used in my own life. I would invest those $1,000 plus one year of time and then reap the benefits through passive income on the beach. I would invest those $1,000 on living expenses for a while and aim toward a higher mountain. When I was 24 years old, I had just graduated in Linköping in Sweden, a small town of 100,000 people. The day after my graduation, I called the CEO for Ericsson Spain in Madrid, a city of 6 million people. Spain because I had a girlfriend who wanted to go there, so I wanted to go too. I didn't quite realize the other benefits at the time, so I was not a genius. I was just lucky and thinking, you know, not with my brain. And I thought, since I'm Swedish and Ericsson is a Swedish company, maybe it could work. So I looked up the phone number of the main switchboard in Madrid, called it and asked to speak to that name of the CEO. They put me through and he answered. I said like it was, I'm a good engineer, I don't have much experience, but I still wonder if you have a job for me in Spain. And he said, thanks for calling, I'll talk to some of my department managers. It was a one minute phone call. Then two days later, a guy called back. I barely understood anything what he said on the phone, but somehow a week later, I got the job. Only months later, as I was there working, I realized what I had done. At one point, the CEO came down to say hi to me, and as he entered the floor, everyone stood up by their desks. Like in the military, the king has entered the building. Only then I realized what enormous hierarchies there were. That I, who was an absolute nobody, had called and talked to the highest boss for a huge multi-billion dollar powerhouse was unheard of. 
So when the CEO had called that department manager, that was when I got the job, not because of my qualification. So the lesson here is that there is a great power in initiative. Sometimes trying is all it takes. If I had $1,000 to my name, that's what I would do again. I would set the bar sky high, aim at being able to save $50,000 or $100,000 or more in a year. Be willing to go do something that not many people are willing to do. If you're living in the West, be willing to go work as expat in Afghanistan or Karachi. If you're living in New Delhi now, aim to go work in Stockholm or in Silicon Valley for a year. Spend those thousand dollars on time to call 1000 managers. Having been one of the managers in faraway countries for many years, I can assure you, assure you that if you place 1000 phone calls, one person will say, you know what, my guy who did that just quit. Or you know what, we just landed a new customer and that's precisely what I need. Then do you know what he or she will ask next? He will ask, when can you come? And if you say, anytime, when do you need me? You get the job. They will still ask for CV and HR and yada yada. But just as I got that job because I had the guts to call the CEO, you already got that job because you had the initiative and the timing. This is different from selling a product. Then you need to be successful a certain percent of your sales attempts or the business won't fly. This is different. You just need to be successful once. Negotiate that the company will pay your expenses including your taxes and help with your visa and all that. Go there, work like crazy, seven days a week. Keep a note under your laptop with how much money you've made and just push through. Then you come home with life experience that no money can buy and you're, you know, 100,000 or whatever you made. Then put them into the dividend stocks, index fund, real estate investment trusts, bonds or stocks and live the rest of your life as a professional investor on the beach if you want. If you go out and ask people what they would do if they got $1,000 right now, Almost everyone will answer what they will buy. Like a new TV, new shoes or a holiday trip. Passive income is what everyone wants. Instead of you working to make money, your money works for you. But most people feel their money doesn't work for them. They feel their money has quit. The fact that you're even here thinking about how to invest those $1,000 already puts you ahead of almost everyone else. You will make it. Note that I have different channels focusing on different topics, so make sure to subscribe on both channels. Comment if you think I'm right or wrong. I would love to hear from you. Please like this video and subscribe. That really helps to support the channel. Then watch the next video. CTO Larson out. Hit up.